Hello, and welcome to the Tableau Server End User Experience Demonstration. Once visits are published from Tableau Desktop to Tableau Server for people to view, they can do more than click around in your visualization. With the proper permissions, users can comment, subscribe, download, share, and edit your visualizations. This demonstration starts as though an end user has successfully authenticated to Tableau Server. Visualizations are organized by Site, Project, Workbook, then View. At the site level, you'll notice that I will see all of the projects, all of the workbooks, all of the views, and all of the data sources that I have permission to see. If I have access to multiple sites, the site name would appear to the right of the Tableau logo at the top left-hand side. Let's say I want to look at the sales reports. I know that there is a sales project, so I could scroll down here to the very bottom and select the sales project. I could also type in sales on the left hand side and then press enter, and then the sales project would return. Or I could do a global search up at the very top, type in sales, and it will return all views, workbooks, and projects associated with the word sales. I'll go ahead and remove the text from there and select the sales project down below. You'll notice at the project level, the project contains one workbook, five views, and zero data sources. We'll go ahead and open the workbook, the Sales Executive Sales Force. Within the workbook, there's five views, two data sources. I'm going to go ahead and look at the sales summary here. So let's say I want to see the sales summary very often. Instead of going through that navigational process, one thing I could do is favorite this. Up at the very top, to the right of the view, I would select the star. The illuminated star will then mark it at a global level, and when I log in, I can easily access that by selecting the star up at the top right. And here's my sales summary and this would take me directly into this visualization. Another option, if I always want to see this as soon as I log in, up at the top right I can select my name and then choose Make This My Start Page. Once I make this my start page, every time I log into Tableau Server, this will be the first thing that displays after logging in. You'll notice that this workbook, the five views that make up the workbook, are shown across the top here as tabs, sales summary, quota attainment, large deals, segmentation, and sales growth. There are a few things right above that that also help enhance the user experience. For example, if I want to look at a specific product name of MOL Mobile, once I make that selection, I can always undo my selection by clicking the undo up at the top left. I can also redo that by clicking forward, or I can revert back all of my changes to the original view. Over on the right hand side, users can customize their view. For example, we have a view called test123. That remembers all of the filter selections the user has made across all of the tabs across the top. For example, if I just wanted to see MOL Mobile, and then on Quota Attainment, I always wanted to view the Midwest, I could save that view by selecting that Test123, or more than likely it will say Original View. I could rename it Mobile Midwest then select Save. I could also make that my default view, so every time I come into this visualization, I'll see my mobile Midwest selections first. I can always go back to the original view, and that is the view that the publisher published it as, or I can manage all of the views that I have by selecting Manage. 
Another great option, if I wanted to see Mobile Midwest in my email box on a specified interval, I could subscribe to this visualization by selecting Subscribe. I could either choose this view, which, be the, which would be the Quota Attainment tab, or I could subscribe to the entire workbook. I can select a schedule from the list of available options, select my subject line, and then choose Subscribe. Subscriptions are images that are emailed to me, so do keep in mind if your mailbox has a limitation on size, subscribing to this entire workbook on a daily basis may clog up your inbox. I can also share this visualization either by embedding it into an existing website or by copying, pasting, or selecting email link. Do keep in mind that users have to have permission to this Tableau server in addition to this view in order to view the link. I can also download, based on my permissions, image, data, cross-tab, portable document format, and Tableau workbook. Another nice thing if I'm doing a presentation, instead of pulling up a visualization through Tableau desktop, I can just present through Tableau server by selecting full screen. And that will get rid of all of the options up at the very top. Now let's say I've subscribed to something and I need to unsubscribe from it. I can come up here and select my name, choose my content, select subscriptions, and then I can unsubscribe by clicking the three dots next to the workbook or view I want to unsubscribe from and select unsubscribe. Let's show some features now that end users can experience within visualizations. I'm going to come back up here to my favorites and select the sales summary. As mentioned previously, it will take me right into my sales summary and you'll notice now the default is Mobile Midwest as I've already set that as my default. Users can get more information within a visualization by hovering. This is one of the top ways to see more information about a specific mark on a visualization. Another thing I could do is select specific quarters. So 2015, holding down on my control key, selecting multiple quarters and then I could only keep that information or I could exclude it from my visualization. Selecting keep only would then update the appropriate information. I can always undo that. Something else that might be interesting for an end user is if I left select on a mark, I could keep that point only, I could exclude it, or I could view the data that makes up that point. Selecting on View Data will then open a new window. It will show me the summary data that makes up that point. And if I have proper permissions, I can see the full data that makes up the entire point, including all columns within the specified data source. I could then download these rows as a text file. I'm going to close out of that now. In addition to control selecting, I could also left click and drag across a visualization to highlight specific information. And then I could maybe select keep only. And that would update my visualization appropriately. Now let's say I'm done with this visualization and I wanna go back and look at other uh, projects. I can do that a few ways. I can either select the Tableau logo up at the top left, which will take me back to my site homepage, or I could navigate to the appropriate folder right below it. So I'm going to go ahead and select Home. And you'll see that there's a filter applied, so I'm going to go ahead and clear all filters, and that will show the information 
uh, as I originally saw it when I first logged in. Now there's a few ways you can sort, especially if you have a large number of projects that you have access to. Over here at the top right, you can sort by name, workbooks, views, data sources, owner, created, alphabetically, or alphabetically reversed. If I have access to a large number of projects, it might be easier to see them as a detailed list. So I could select the detailed list over here on the right hand side. Now in addition to viewing the visualizations, if I have the proper permissions to view data sources, and if I have permissions to use the Tableau web edit, what I can do is select the data source and it's the Facebook page feed and I can click to the right of that name and then select new workbook. This is the Tableau web edit tool which is very similar to using Tableau desktop. Data is broken out between dimensions and measures. I can drag and drop these dimensions and measures on my columns and rows shelf to generate a visualization and further customize it using the pages, filters, and marks cards. So that's Tableau Server in a nutshell. Thanks for joining us today.